welcome to the Virtual Guru. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be from Talbot Shaving, and this is Champlain. As you can see by the label, a beautiful label. Um, Talbot V3 is one of my very favorite um, kind of like modern soap bases. The scent on this, it is Coles Pond. Um, this is this was described as Chad as the cousin's Coles Pond. If you missed out on Coles Pond, you, you can get it with this. Like for me, this is very very similar. The thing this has different to this to Coles Pond is there's a note of snow, which they've obviously tried to imitate um, that cold air, and it, it's done very very well in this. Oh, I love Coles Pond, and I'm so happy that they've been able to bring it back in some way. Um, as we all tell, V3 is fantastic. It's one of the best, in my opinion, modern soap bases out there. So I'm very much looking forward to using that. It's been a while since I've used Coles Pond too, so I'm mega excited. And uh, this comes with the matching male grooming after aftershave splash, also one of the best splashes in the game. I've told, I've said this time and time again, like that combination, that duo is one of the, the best duos in terms of overall quality I think you can buy. Now, this. So... For me, the best brush, well, the nicest brush I've, I think I've ever used was a Vale. And uh, ever since I got rid of my Vale, I've missed it. And I messaged the guy I bought it from, and I said, look, I get, if you don't want to sell it back to me, perfectly fine. But he sold it back to me, and I have it here. This is the Vale gas lamp. This is one of my, this is the best brush, or at least the, the brush I've used that has blown me away the most. When I when I washed the tips just now, it is so soft, and it's just wow, it's just fantastic. Um, I'd like to say thank you to John Shaves. John has lent me his um, Paradigm Titanium Singlet. I have had one of these before. The reason he lent it to me was because I may have the opportunity in the next few weeks to buy to buy it back. And I want to see whether I really like it or not. So he's allowed me to borrow his. This is his favorite razor. So it means a lot to me that he's allowed me to borrow it. Thank you very much, John. Um, if you haven't checked out John's channel, please check um, the link in the description below. Fantastic guy, has wonderful gear, has great opinions on shaving. Do it. You won't regret it. Inside this, I have a Schick Proline P30. So I'm going to be using that today. What a shave we have lined up. That's what I'm going to say. Let's get loaded up here. Um, very easy to underload this brush. We're going to go in pretty heavy and load for a pretty long time. Where are we? Okay. Let's uh, really give this brush a good workout here. Oh, that Coles Pond is opening up. It's a little bit more uh, prominent with that fur, in my opinion. There's also like a dry woods I get from this as well. And that, that cold air note definitely is different. So it's not exactly the same if you have both. I think it's still probably worth a purchase if you have Coles Pond. I wouldn't say, like I said, it's not exactly the same. Well, we, so we've been loading for almost 40 seconds. We're gonna keep going here. Get a really heavy load on. Cause this is a huge knot. It can hold a lot of lather. Why not let it have it? There we go. We're gonna we're gonna go with that, guys. Let's get the specs off, and we'll get to lathering up. I'm really looking forward to using this brush again. <laughs> it's actually really. It's been really nice here weather-wise. It's 62, I think, here in Portland, which for March, anywhere I've been, is pretty warm. So I'm not, I'm not complaining. It looks like it's going to continue throughout the rest of the week as well. So that's brilliant for me. Take the dogs for a walk. It also gives me more motivation just to get on with my day, if you know what I mean. Lather up. <laughs> oh, yes. 
Hello, old friend. Jesus Christ. You're so good. It's literally just this big, soft cloud on your face. It just feels so nice. I can tell we're already gonna have a really good shave today. I had a phenomenal shave yesterday as well. Um, I used Cole's Pond, no, I used, I've got Cole's Pond on the brain. I've got, I used Massacre of the Innocents by Declaration Grimming. Paired that with Herod by Parfums Damali. Used the Titanium Blackbird, which is a phenomenal razor. Just damn. <laughs> yep, not regretting a thing buying this thing back. It's just so nice to lather with. It is just a big, big cloud. And it has more balance than I remember. Like, it, I thought it splayed really easily, but it doesn't. Now it's opening up, those woody notes are coming through. I'm also getting like a weird frankincense vibe. I, I don't think there's incense in this because there's no reason for there to be. But there's definitely a smoky, smoky element to it. It's beautiful actually, as far as the scent goes. Very, very nice. So how are, how are all of you? I'm doing very well. Um, having fun with jobs going well I'm back on the weight loss as well like I lose focus on it for a bit and then realize I've put on weight so I lost eight pounds in the last week and a half a couple of weeks so we're doing very well in that regard keep going I've started I was invited back to train jiu-jitsu like I had to stop training because um I moved to Portland and they had different restrictions so there was no jiu-jitsu schools accepting new students until now so it's been seven months I've stopped training jiu-jitsu which is really hard for me because it's something that I really enjoyed and for the most part kept a majority of the weight off like I have a love for beer very much like my good friend DK. Not like DK, I think DK has a different love for beer than anyone else. <laughs> Dude, guys, just look. Absolutely brilliant brush. I'm so happy to have this back. Thank you, Ian, for letting me uh, purchase this back from you. I don't know if you watch my videos or not. I hope you do, because you're a really, really good guy. And uh, I like having people like you follow me. Yep, I think we're good. Look at that. Yeah, this one won't be going anywhere. I'm gonna, this one's gonna stay with me now. I absolutely love it. Once again, thank you to John Shaves for letting me borrow this titanium single edge. I remember it being a beautiful shaver and I'm really sure it is. Yep, super mild, incredibly smooth. It's those blades, guys. The, 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 the Artist Club style blades are so good. I mean, much better than double edged blades. I've not used the Artist Club style razor for so long, so the actual blade seems. Mm, Really big. Wow. 
It's just so comfortable. It's very mild, don't get me wrong, but you guys know I enjoy that. It's just, yeah, yeah, man, wow. It's just brilliant. I'm really looking forward to putting some more shoes. We've done, but that was a no nonsense, easy first pass. Really can't go wrong. Really good. The scent strength on this, it's probably about a five or a six. It's definitely there, you know, I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's not the strongest scent by any means, but I, I just love that, um, that scent DNA. Coast Pond, if you guys don't know, is one of my favorite scents in shaving. So to have like its brother in the V3 base is just phenomenal for me. And the biggest reason I wanted him to remake it was to have one of Sean Mullen's splashes with it because they're so good too. It's funny, right? Because like now I look back from, on how I used to shave, like with a cart or whatever. I do just can't go back. Using these just absolutely amazing products. And we're so lucky to, to have them at our disposal, honestly. So I'm gonna try my hybrid pass with this and see how it works. Super comfortable. Yeah. That is as comfortable as the car for me. And I don't really have many razors I say that for. It's just like a geometry that really works for me, this. I'm not the biggest fan of the handle, I have to say. It can be a bit slippery. But uh, I normally do this, I'm trying to figure it out. Because the handle's of a slightly different shape. And what a razor, what a razor, what a brush, what a soap. What a shame, guys. Jeez. Really, really good. See how slick the soap is. Okay, it's gonna be a ton of soap in here because it's a big knot and it can really carry it. Ton. Okay, let me get this on the face. I will see you for the post shave and the final thoughts. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, it is post shave time. Incredible post shave left, left behind there. No tightness whatsoever. Actually really close for the, uh, especially when considering how mild this razor is, like super, super close. Like it's so mild, like that is pretty damn comfortable. <laughs> um, let's get into the splash then, shall we? So this is the male grooming matching splash. If you guys don't know, Sean makes some of the best alcohol splashes just in, in general, so a generous helping of this. Hardly any burn. Ah, oh, really lovely. 
the fur's a bit more prominent in this, which is nice. Well, what a great shave, guys. Man, that splash is good. Great, great shave. Let me see what I use, give you my thoughts, and uh, I'll let you go. Champlain. Talbot V3, phenomenal. Uh, $20 as well for four ounces of soap. For the quality of shave soap there, that's actually pretty pretty good value in my opinion. The scent, if you've missed out on Coles Pond, is very similar, so it's an option. If you enjoy Coles Pond, it's a different type of Coles Pond, so I think you'll really enjoy that too. Um, with the matching aftershave splash, as a pairing, you can't just can't go wrong. Um, I welcome the Valet back to the den with this shave, and I do not regret it. Just using that reminded me how beautiful that shaving experience is, or at least the lathering, lathering experience. And once again, thank you to John Shaves for letting me borrow the Titanium Single Edge. It is a remarkable shaver. It's so smooth. It's very mild, but it's deceptively efficient as well, I think. So I think I am going to pick that up. But I'm, I'm looking forward over the next couple of weeks to put a couple more users in with it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video today, please hit the subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. Um, you know, I always like you guys commenting down below. So comment down below too. Hit the like button get me noticed. I would really appreciate it. Don't have to, but it's a bonus for me. I'm going to keep making these videos anyway. It, just, it doesn't make a difference, but uh, it does help for the most part anyway. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.